Can you believe the week has come around already? And this is a reading for the week ahead, um, starting the 26th of July, all the way through until next Monday. So we'll see what guidance the angels have for you, for us, for the week. And if there's a bit of time, I will do a few readings. I'll pull some cards for um, you who are following. So I decided to use the Archangel Michael deck and the good old Archangel Power Tarot as usual because they're so detailed and so beautiful. So how did your weekend go with this amazing Aquarius full moon? I mean, how incredible was it? Lots and lots of positive energy, but also lots of stuff coming to the surface as usual with a full moon. It gets illuminated, doesn't it? The things the things that um, are maybe undermining you, that are upsetting you, that aren't right for you, gets illuminated. And with the full moon, things can also be magnified. And that includes illusions. So we're not just seeing truth coming to the surface. We can sometimes see our fears and our illusions magnified as well. And I really felt with um, this past week and the weekend, it was there is a lot of things that perhaps have been buried for a long time coming up so emotions that you needed to deal with and sometimes that can show up in in many different ways so i thought we might talk a bit about how the angels can help you to heal from painful situations as well in this in this session so i think i'll start with with the cards though with the reading and a little bit of an invocation um for the week ahead hi leanne good morning you're doing did you do lots of releasing with that full moon yeah yeah, it certainly wasn't going to let us get away with um, <laughs> with not, was it? Um, it was like, here you go, you've got to let it go, otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up in some other way in your life or it's going cause, gonna to cause problems. So we'll talk about all that in a second. Let's call in the angels. So I'm going to start by doing a simple prayer, part of which I do. I do a bigger version of this every day for myself. So I call on... The angels, the guides, our ancestors, divine spirit, and all helpful light and love oriented beings. I call on Archangel Michael, the angel of fire who carries the sword of transmutation and light. Thank you Archangel Michael for being present with us all here. Thank you for making your presence known. Thank you for providing a beautiful protective dome of light over this, this session. And protect everyone individually if they'll accept your shield of protection, but also as, as, a, as a group. Thank you for carrying away any heaviness, any pain that anyone is feeling here that is ready to go. So if there is fear, negativity, negative thoughts, energies that are intruding and, and pulling down the vibration of anyone present here and in the replay, we ask and give you permission to intervene, to cut that away and transmute it to the light and replace it with divine love. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for working through me and with me to bring about a clear, accurate, meaningful and loving reading that brings about the highest good for everyone who listens and watches. And I also call on Archangel Raphael, the, uh, the angel of healing, Thank you, Archangel Raphael, for always bringing about the highest wholeness and healing for everyone. Thank you for guiding everyone to what needs to go from their lives that might be causing unhealthy, toxicity, fear, any low energy. Thank you for lifting that out and replacing it with divine healing love. Thank you and amen. So I'll leave it there. I could keep going. <laughs> And if other angels come in and want to come in and help us, they are most welcome because the most important thing is, is that we are protected. Hi, Tina. Welcome. Hi, Natty. Good morning. So let's ask Archangel Michael. There's so much I want to share with you today. Anyway, let's ask Archangel Michael what the guidance is for the week ahead. What, what do we most need to know? What, how can we overcome our deepest challenges and manifest and draw in what we most need and want, both for ourselves and globally. I think it's always important to use our love and light to, to um, 
and energy to create something for the greater good for everyone as well. Good morning, Carol. Okay, so Archangel Michael is showing me this big Aquarius moon and he's saying that you can still work with the moon. This is a good time to do some healing, some letting go and some calling in of what you do want. Now Aquarius makes us, I'm an Aquarian, it makes us want to go against the grain sometimes to find our own way, you know, not have to follow what everybody else expects of us or what the pressure is to do. Um, very independent, but also eccentric and inventive and creative. So you might find those energies are rising up in you at the moment. Oh, I'm not surprised that we got these cards at all, actually. All right, I'm going to start out with the first one. This is the present situation, what we're most needing to know. And the angels, the Archangel Michael in particular, is saying it's okay. If you've been in a situation for a while now and you're looking over your shoulder and going, Am I still doing this? Is this still bothering me? You know, it could be emotional, it could be financial, it could be something that impacts you. You're getting a big boost of energy from this current energy in this Aquarius moon that is allowing you to elevate. So you're finally, it's like decisions that you make this week, thoughts that you have, changes that you make in your life is going to help you to leave that negative situation behind you so pay attention now in the in the card we've got gabrielle and she's lifting off on this amazing unicorn pegasus oh to me it's not a unicorn it's just a pegasus and behind her are, this, are, are these lightning storms and these dark dark clouds and we can see a glimpse of light so as she's leaving behind the storms there might be tantrums there might be you know our ego has a tension when we when we give up bad habits, when we have um, we leave addictive situations. You know, the ego will throw up fear and say, "Oh, you can't change," or "What if there's nothing better out there?" or "What if this goes wrong?" But also, other people can have tensions too. You know, if you decide you're done with something, people can have tensions about it. They want to keep you where you are. Maybe they get something out of it. Maybe it's threatening to them. So just be aware of that, but you don't have to pay attention to it. Like the angel on the card, keep your mind and your thoughts and actions focused on where you want to be rather than what you're leaving behind as much as possible. This is a card that is about being confident, standing up for your truth. I'm talking about your intuitive truth, your gut, who you are at essence. Not what everyone else wants you to be, not what the popular notion is, what, who you are in your truth. And standing up for yourself isn't always about having fights with people or telling people what for. You know, sometimes you can make quiet exits. I remember someone saying to me once that sometimes silence says everything. <laughs> um, so we are definitely leaving drama behind in this, in this card. And what it really is about, it's about claiming your personal power. It's about saying, enough is enough. These are my boundaries. I'm no longer going to be a victim of this, this or this. You know, we did a, I did my abundance creation webinar on Friday. Um, and that was, you know, that was really about taking your power back. If you, had, if you didn't attend it or you didn't watch the replay yet, it was about taking your power back when it comes to your finances. You know, instead of saying, oh, this is the way it is and I'm stuck with it or I'm always going to be this way or I can never afford or you actually can change your energy and change your thoughts and work with your angels to manifest something different. So I love that this card is here and saying, claim your personal power. Isn't it beautiful? Archangel Gabrielle is, is very much about career, purpose, um, but it really speaking a truth, helping you find your um, your lane, if you like. So it doesn't always have to be about career. She's also the angel of mothers and um, new babies, giving birth, looking after children, that kind of thing. Then we've got Archangel Michael. Any surprise? Because we did a big invocation of him right at the beginning. And I'm just going to see, check out everyone here. And this is Archangel Michael's strongest I would say one of the strongest two cards in this deck. He is standing, look at him. What does that energy of that card say to you? And how can you embody that energy 
in your own life when it comes to the things that have been draining you, pulling you down, scaring you, making you sad, making you depressed? How can you bring this energy in? You know, he's really saying enough is enough. This is a card of boundaries. It's about communicating what you want loud and clear, but staying in integrity, you know, being, being in your truth. Integrity is as much about what fits your values and ideas, um, but also about being in, in integrity with the world as well. Do you know what I mean? It's not, it's like not, um, harming others or not putting others at risk or um, doing something underhand so it's asking you to be in your wisdom be in your wisdom be in that because that's your strength you know there's a lot of yellow in this and that represents intellect being intelligent about what you're doing not not only you know sometimes our emotions can sweep us away um, there's a very clear path that he's standing on and he knows he knows what is his and what isn't. So when you're an empath, sometimes when you're um, starting out, you don't really understand what is yours and what is other people's. And it's especially if you're in a meshed relationships, it can be very easy to take on the opinions and thoughts of others or um, get sucked into what other people think about you. And, and, and that takes a lot of mental and emotional energy from you. But here it's like own your space, own your energy, own your thoughts, be who you are. No matter how much you love another person, I'm talking about the adults in your life, you don't need to let um, anybody influence how you feel about yourself. So this is, this is saying that you can make an advancement just by putting out some clear communication and clear, clear boundaries. And that might be with yourself and with the angels and the universe, you know, like, okay, I'm ready for change. I'm going to start doing consistent work on my energy, on my thoughts, on my, on my manifesting to make that change happen. So it doesn't just have to be about the relationships in your life, although that will invariably show up when you're changing, you know, the, that sometimes when you make a change, it can threaten the people around you. But that's okay. That's their stuff, not yours. Here we have the outcome card. And I love this one so much. One, because I wore my star <laughs> t-shirt today. <laughs> also, you know, the star is the card of Aquarius. Did you know that? So we're, we're just, you know, coming out of this Aquarius full moon. This is a beautiful outcome card to have for these two. Because it's saying, if you would just believe in yourself and follow these steps you're coming to the end of a very difficult situation. There is beautiful things on the other side of this, and this truly is a beautiful card. You know that saying, um, you know, keep your eyes, what's it, what is it? It's, it's an astronaut who get, whose gaze afar stays harnessed fast to a distant star. That's the, that's, it's an old quote. And what it means is when you stay focused on the outcome of what you want rather than worrying about how and when and if you're going to get there and if anyone's going to believe in you is you believe in yourself and you your energy vibration starts to change because you're thinking about what you want rather than what you don't want so this is Archangel Jophiel Jophiel helps us to change our thoughts because you know we can be a little bit like I don't know if you've ever been to one of those awful zoos where you see that the path that the animal has, has, you know, walked around the perimeter and makes a divot, doesn't it? Then, or in any paddock, you'll see that the cow's going to the water and coming back again. Our thoughts, when we get stuck in negative thought and thinking that we're powerless, they're like those divots and, and they get thicker and deeper over time. And so when you've got to change your thoughts and start thinking more positively, more focused on what you want rather than what you don't want, that can take some effort. And so Jophiel, Archangel Jophiel, helps you to shift those patterns and thoughts and also helps you to stay focused on your, on your goal. So invoke Jophiel to help you with that. And let me see who else is here. Hi, Erica. Hi. Lovely to see you. Hi, Angel. That's a lovely name. <laughs> hi, Joanne. Hi, Rochelle. And hi, Doc. 
I'm sure we've got more other people here. So hey, everybody who's, who's sitting quietly in the background. So let's put a final card. And then if anybody here would like a quick single card reading, remember that when you want a reading from me, you need to ask a question. Base, you know, please give me guidance about this situation. Be clear about what it is, you know. Um, avoid jargony words. So Archangel Michael, we just want one more additional card for this week. Um, okay, still, I don't know if you were with me on Thursday on my live Instagram. Um, and <laughs> this this is very, very true. Be gentle with yourself. All that means is don't beat yourself up. Don't be hard on yourself for so-called mistakes that you've made. Don't push yourself if your body says no. Take things off your plate that don't need to be there. You know, if you, you find your thoughts constantly focused on something negative, do something to interrupt them. Go for a walk. Do some deep breaths. Do some meditation. Call on Archangel Jophiel. Shift yourself out of harsh energy. You know, over the weekend, I went away for a couple of nights and I um, I had a plan that was that yesterday I was going to go on a hike and I went to one of my favorite national parks. It was a bit of a drive and um, we're still allowed to move around in this part of Australia. And, and that's part of the reason I did it is because just in case in the next few weeks, things change. So and when I got there, my body just did not want to walk. And, you know, I could feel the two sides of myself arguing with myself, like, but you're here now, you'll feel better when you're walking, you know, da, 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 and the other side just going, you know what, I'm really tired, and I feel really a bit funny, and I don't really know if I want to do this, it was very windy. So I listened, and I got in my car, and I drove, and on my way home, I started to feel really sick, and had a bit of a tummy bug that I'd been ignoring, so I got, I went to bed early. Now... This, you know, this is that sort of guidance, like how many times do we push ourselves through something and don't listen to the body? The old me would have just gone on that walk and probably felt dreadful. And so you need to listen, listen to what your body is telling you and get used to doing that. You know, the angels are really on our case at the moment to be more intuitive. And part of being intuitive, especially if you are sensitive, you're an empathic, is that is listening to what your body is telling you you know we've almost been taught to just live from the neck up but everything's got to be about our thoughts and about what everything else is happening out there and how much we can achieve but an empath is someone who's whose um feelings both emotional and physical are turned up the volume is really loud and people come to me all the time and say how can i stop being so empathic and you're like the way, the, the way you turn that noise down is by listening, by following what your, your empathic feelings are telling you, paying attention, releasing the emotion when it comes up, listening when you maybe for the 10th time have felt really dreadful when you've walked away from that interaction with someone. Hearing those thoughts that say avoid, 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 Instead of going, oh, you know, I've got to be a nice person. I need to be kinder, blah, 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 blah. There's a reason you're getting those strong feelings in your emotions and body. So be gentle with yourself. Another Archangel Michael card. Hi, Mish. Hey, Laurie. Hi. Hi, Jenny. You have to go back and watch from the beginning, but that's okay. We've got a bit to go. Hi, Danielle. Erica says, my body's been super tired lately and doing quite a bit of healing. Yeah. So I'm honoring my body, allowing myself to sleep more. That's exactly right. I, you know, when you're going through big changes, and especially if you're sensitive, aware, um, you're spiritual, you're a person that, that understands energy, and you're going through changes, like, you know, maybe you're doing an angel course with me, that's big. So your body, your physical body needs extra water, extra sleep, extra rest, ex extra quiet time. Because when we're working on a psychic level and we're using a lot of mental energy and emotional energy, the body, that's hard on the nervous system and the body has to catch up. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Teresa. So would anybody like me to pull a card before I, um, before I 
go forward. So the angels wanted me to talk a little bit about um, angelic healing for painful situations. And, and what they mean by that is recognizing that this time, this present time, it is supposed to be a time of processing. And as I said, right at the beginning, this moon is magnifying, it's bringing things up to the surface to be released and also to be healed. So if you're going through a thing of like, why am I going over this old situation that happened to me again? Or why am I in this, this problematic situation that's so painful? The angels want you to know that they are right there beside you and they want to help you. And if you would slow down and you would communicate with them what you want and need, and take time to do some um, angelic healing meditations. Like I've got a ton of them on my website on the free angel library. If you go to store, drop the menu down, at the bottom of that is free angel library. There's some deep clearing and healing and protective meditations there. Do the energy work first because everything exists in vibration must also exist in the physical. So if you're dealing with something painful in the body, in your life, in your relationships, Start to move the energy of it first out of your body, out of your aura, out of your mind. And as you clear that energy, it will start to loosen it in the physical as well and transform it as you transmute the heaviness and the toxicity and release that enmeshment. You know how we get embroiled with things mentally? We can't stop thinking about them. That's because our energy has knotted in with them. And as soon as you stop giving attention mentally to something that is painful and difficult, of course, you've got to, you know, you've got to process it. You've got to make a decision, if you like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the situation behind. And then you start to disentangle your thoughts and your energy. The angels will help you to disentangle your energy. They'll transmute the toxicity for you. And that will make it easier for you to change it or for it to be changed in the in the physical world it's it's something i've seen over and over and over again thousands of times you know i've worked with clients one-on-one -on -one healing for 17 years and this is always the truth that everything has to be in our mind and our energy you clear that change it there and then it starts to change in the physical and the guidance will come up for that I need a lot of healings. I am trying, but I still feel angry, so I think I'm blocking a lot of blessings. Okay, yeah, okay. Danielle, let me just choose which cards I'm gonna use. <laughs> I'll use the Archangel Michael cards. So that's a really, um, yeah. So when we feel angry about something, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes when someone has, has hurt us or mistreated us, there is gonna be anger there. We have to release it. Um, you know, sometimes by feeling it, writing about it. And then you have to get to that point, just like in the second card for the group reading, if you weren't here for the, from the beginning, is where it's like, okay, then you have to make a decision. You say, well, do I want to hold on to this anymore? Like, do I really want the poison of this situation to keep putting me in anger? Because anger eventually becomes toxic if we don't let it go. Um... And then the, you know, the ego will always say, oh, well, yeah, well, you should feel angry, you know, <laughs> and bring it back around again. But um, it's not your ego you need to be listening to. So ask the angels to help you to release the anger and also address it. You know, sometimes our anger has a message. You know, it's like maybe I haven't fully addressed it. Maybe there's something I need to forgive myself for or maybe I hadn't fully acknowledged everything that happened. And then when you get the lesson and the blessing, you can let go. You can just let it go. All right. Okay, this is an interesting card. So this is about paying attention to your dreams. This is what this card says. Now, it's, look at Archangel Michael here. I don't just read the words of a card. I mean, you know, anyone can do that. He's got this big breastplate on, and he's saying to me that the energy of this is, is putting a... Um, just an energetic block over your heart and you're absolutely right Daniel you are blocking the blessings because you're holding on to the anger so 
I need to do some work on um, forgiveness. And forgiveness isn't about letting a person off the hook or even saying to them that you forgive them. You know, some people do awful things. And it's not about forgiving them. It's about getting the toxic energy away from you because your heart, your heart chakra in the center of your chest is the, the main chakra that is the receptivity, receptivity valve in your energy field. So if you're saying, okay, I want more blessings, I want more love, I want more happiness, I want more peace, I want more abundance, and yet you've got this block here, you're not gonna let it in. You're not gonna let yourself receive. So you need to do some work, maybe cut the cord between you and, and whatever and whomever you're angry with, and it might be multiple times you need to cut that cord. You might need to cut it to, you know, when I think about, I'm trying to think of a situation, okay, there's a maybe there's a relationship and that person hurt you like three significant times that it would be worth cutting a cord to each of those significant situations if they keep replaying in your mind you know put the person in the bubble and send them to the light I've got a really good guided cord cutting meditation on my website you can go and find that as you cut those cords ask Archangel Raphael and Michael to fill your heart center and also to give you energy protection that comes from the divine to protect you in your heart rather than you know this kind of protection that you've put up that comes from fear and anger so at the same time this card can be about um, paying attention to your dreams there's guidance in them for you you can also ask Archangel Michael to enter your dreams at night and to help you to let go of what you need to let go of the most important person in this situation is you and that's what you need to remember. Okay, I need to heal myself. It's not about the other or what happened. Okay, thanks, Danielle. So anyone that wants a question, you actually need to ask a question. Okay, so Jenny says, I would love guidance about looking for work or whether I should even be looking. So Jenny, when we use the word should, <laughs> It's like there's an external rule somewhere, you know, like there's an angel on a cloud with a big stick that's like, you should do this. So should comes from guilt. It's from the, you know, illusion that something has power over us. So let go of the word should. Do you mean if you need to be looking? So is it a good idea for you to look for work? I'm just going to ask for guidance from Archangel Michael about the situation that requires you to look for work. Okay. So this card is called Believe and Trust, and it shows Archangel Michael coming out, emerging out of a dark forest. It's like there has been some tough times, and things have felt blocked, and, and um, like you can't see in front of you, and confusing and messy. And Archangel Michael is emerging out of that now with his sword. Now the sword is the sword of transmutation, which means, Jenny, that it's about clearing away the confusion, the things that have caused you to feel fear, that have caused you to feel like you're struggling. And when you ask Archangel Michael to cut those cords to help you to see the truth of your situation, now you see you will emerge like him out into the light. So you definitely have a choice here. Bring it, bring away, put away should, because that will always make you feel like, uh -huh. someone says to me, I should do the dishes. I just think I don't, I don't really want to. But if I go, okay, I could do them. I've got a choice. I can do them now. I could do them at tea time when I finish my work for the day. It's a different energy. So come back to like, I could do work. If I did do work, what, what kind of work do I want to look for? Keep yourself in choice. Get the negative energy out of the way. So here um, you're being asked to be to believe and trust in a positive outcome. And that doesn't mean be Pollyanna and just like, oh, everything will be all right, but actually don't do anything about it. There's guidance for you. There is something that you can do to bring about the resolution of, of whatever is behind the question about looking for work. So I would say if you keep yourself in choice, and get excited about the prospect, come back to the question, what do I really want? What do I really want and what do I really need? And then ask the universe and the angels, help me to manifest this. And perhaps what will happen is 
someone will offer you an amazing job that is easy to do, that has the perfect hours for you, or what you want might come in a different way. But you have to be in trust and faith in order to activate that energy into the world. Hi, Shona. Lovely to see you. So remember, ask me a question. It's a small payment. <laughs> It's a small payment. So Georgia, I don't know if you came to the um, Abundance Creation webinar. I do a webinar every every month, every month, um, which is all about a different archangel and how to deal with something in your life. So on Friday, I did one called the Abundance Creation with Archangel Ariel. It was amazing. I got we had so many people and it's still available for sale the replay if you want it it's going to go off um tonight it's no longer going to be available so that would really be helpful for you because i cover the blocks to finances and um how to overcome blocks we do a big a big healing on it all about money and finances and abundance so that's on my website so I'm going to ask Archangel Michael, what guidance do you have for Georgia about finances? Woohoo! Love it! So this is really positive for you, Georgia. It's saying positive thoughts create positive results. It's almost like I see Archangel Michael using his, his arm as if he's just pushing everything off the table, you know, like clearing the way, all of the rubble and the clutter and the mental energy. So clutter clearing can be part of it and starting afresh so think about at the moment we're in this time of of clearing and making a way for new beginnings declare a new beginning in your finance in your finances write down every single one of those old worries that keep coming up write it down so you can have a look at it because sometimes it's like it's like monsters under the bed when you're a kid you know there's nothing there but the fear of it blows up so when you write something down that's a fear or a worry you can literally go through the list and go, well, that's stupid and that's ridiculous and that's not going to happen. And then you can circle the ones that are like, actually, I'm a bit worried about that. I do have a bill coming up and I do need to find the money to pay it. And, and that makes you feel more in your power because you're like, okay, I can address that. I can maybe ring them up and ask for a payment plan. You know, things can happen. But if you've got just worry, it's just like the monster under the bed or in the cupboard. It just pins you and makes you feel paralyzed, mobilized, and awful. So Archangel Michael's saying to you, just clear, clear away all of that. Declare a new beginning and start to think positively. If you go over and get that webinar, there's a video. There's also, um, you'll get the slides and the audio as well. You can, you could just, Put it in your headphones and, and just say, right, today's a new beginning. Start to think positively about your finances instead of focusing on the worries and the fears. All right, good. You've been clearing the house. You've been cleaning the house. Well, there you go. You've been getting your guidance, see? Okay, I get the angels. Um, to pick a. Okay, Lana, thank you so much for your question. And can I say, I'm so sorry to hear this and, and so sorry for your loss. That's just an absolutely painful and hard thing to go through. And I want you to know that your angels are with you and they're showing me, you know, obviously this is, this is deep grief and they're showing me how they're um, supporting you and supporting your heart. So when, um, when we lose someone, no matter whatever way they go, our angels will cushion us, you know, from it, as much as they can with grief and loss. So it's not that they can't stop us from feeling it, but they literally put these soft um, cushions of energy around us. And I'm seeing that it's mostly around your heart. Now, they're also giving me um, 
a message that there's a couple of things going on. So one, it's like, it's almost like you're feeling really raw and it's particularly around your head and it's like, it, it's really stressful. My sense is, is that I'm just listening. My sense is, is that there's a big part of you that's kind of you're really feeling the like you need to be there for her. I'm picking my words carefully. It's like you need to be there for her. So the angels are asking that you ground yourself and that this is this is something that's really simple. You just imagine tree roots from, from your base chakra and you, you put them into the earth and you just send them down into the earth and you imagine a big red rock in the center of the earth and it's got your name on it, Lana, right? Wrap those energetic tree roots around and imagine that your whole being is in your body. That's really important and that will stop you feeling like there's a there's like a freaked out feeling that I'm, I'm getting and it's like it's this whole situation was such a shock for you. It's like it's pushed you out of your body. So you need to come back into your body. You're going to feel a lot better. I know you're still going to feel the grief, but you'll feel a bit more whole in yourself. Now, I do get that your daughter is trying to connect with you, but not in a pain way, not in a kind of um, frantic way. It's more of a sense of like, I'm still here. I'm still with you. My spirit's still with you. And I love that we got Archangel Gabriel in the earlier reading because Archangel Gabriel is, is also helping you to like form an energetic bridge between the two of you so that you can sense and feel her presence. So this is such a hard time. So be very patient with yourself and just use prayer. The angels are seeing us showing me hands together. It's a mudra, you know, it's not just about, it's not about being religious or spiritual. It's a mudra. And it's like, you know, as above, so below. It reminds us that we're vibrational beings. We're not just physical beings. And just because someone has gone over to the other side and they're not in their physical body anymore doesn't mean that they don't. They're not still around. So I'm not getting that your daughter is in any distress. I'm getting a feeling of peace. But I'm feeling for you this kind of panicky feeling. And I can understand it if you've been healing. So if you were to just sort of say, if you hear that voice, I can hear you and just do a prayer ask for God and the angels to surround you both to help you both to feel um, peaceful and to to strengthen that connection between you and all will be well okay and Archangel Michael is a good one you're welcome you're welcome and if you know it's a big thing to have a reading on 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 a public domain so if at some point you want to have a private reading with me you can just book that via my website um, which might be you know I can give it more energy so Shona this will be my last one so you're going to see your do you want to see your mum that is so lovely I'm so, you know, I really can't wait for everyone to get me vaccinated and so that I can start to go and see my family too. I haven't seen my mum in a long time. So angels, what message do you have for Shona about going to Canada to see her mum? Okay, have you been feeling guilty? This is the card of that's letting you know from Archangel Michael that you, you need to let go of any guilt that you're feeling. So sometimes guilt, is, it's such a sneaky emotion, guilt. It, you know, I'm sure all of you can identify with this. Like guilt from the ego perspective is we will never ever <laughs> be able to do the right thing. You know, like it's like, it's like little pop-up things. As soon as you deal with one thing, something else pops up. As soon as you deal with that thing, something else. And it's very triggering. It makes us go into, into fight or flight. It makes us go into people-pleasing and self-punishment so that here the angels are saying help you just they will help you to see that you have done nothing wrong and that in, in all ways your soul is pure 
and just come from that place of um, feeling peaceful and happy and look forward to the trip and just stay in your own in your own energy you know there's only so much we can do as as human beings and that enmeshment that I was talking about earlier is sometimes we get so caught up in I should do this and I should do that and I should have done this and I should have done that there's no shoulds from the divine mind so isn't this a beautiful image it shows the Archangel Michael cradling this tiny little puppy and he's saying to notice that the the same innocence is within your soul so you needed to hear that for some reason let go of guilt so for, for um i'm glad it made sense that's good that is so good so that um just just for everyone's um knowledge the way that the angels work is that it is um, prescriptive guidance, as in this is how you can create what you want rather than just giving you answers like this will happen or this won't happen. You know, angel, gu angel guidance is really important. It helps us to co-create our lives and, and walk hand in hand, step by step, while always holding on to our power, where the old fashioned kind of fortune telling kind of readings were about, they were scary. You know, you sit there and somebody says to you, this will happen or that will happen or no, you will never get married and things, you know, awful things like that. Someone said that to me. Um, horrible things that can leave, you know, leave you feeling depressed, leave you feeling powerless. Now, the angels acknowledge that we are creative vibrational beings. We are infinite beings. Our soul never dies. We're here forever, right? Our physical body isn't. And when we start to come from that perspective of understanding ourselves as multi-dimensional, more than the physical. You know, I heard a quote this morning that said, to, to only believe in the things that you can touch and see is really no belief at all. Because the truth of us is in, in the vibrational world. Like, we really don't know who we are fully if we are only looking at our physical body. And, and we, we don't understand ourselves if we only think this is who we are, what we earn, what car we drive, what clothes we wear, how we look, whether what size we are, that's all the tiniest, weeniest part of us. And that can change, right? Like I don't look anything like I did 20 years ago. <laughs> like, and it's silly to expect it because we're evolving and, and changing on a physical level. But on a spiritual level, we're so much more. And when we go through difficult things, like Alana, Alana is going through, sometimes it, it pushes us um, to understand that on a much deeper level, you know, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a great loss. It can be something small that pushes you to go and looking for answers and you start to understand yourself on a vibrational level. So the angels teach us that when we change our thoughts and the way we look at things and we understand the universe, then everything around us can change and it helps us to get our power back in that sense. And that's why I ask for questions for these readings, because if we're looking only at the, you know, tell me, pull me a card. Well, for one, that's almost meaningless. If you just walk up to a deck of cards and pull a card out, it's got to have direction. It's got to have, because um, the angels can give us proper guidance. So that with that, if you ask the angels for guidance, please give me guidance with my finances. Please help me to know the best thing to do about this situation. You, you will get that guidance. Malik, get off my page, please. Someone just delete this Malik Nera person. I will remove them shortly, but you can get off my page now, mate. I can't do anything at this moment. And please don't give your money or credit card details or inbox people for a reading. Because <laughs> it's a troll and they're very low energy. Angels, please protect us from these gross people. Okay, I'm going to pull out now. It's 44.22, so that's a good time for me to finish. 
I do another session like this on Instagram at 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on a Monday and also on a Thursday. So if you, in a few hours time, seven, eight, six hours time, you can pop over to Instagram Live and I will be there and um, pulling some cards as well. So lots of love. If you didn't get a card or a reading, come back next Monday and um, remember, ask a question. Lots of love. Mwah. Angel blessings. Oh, yeah, and the Abundance webinar is still available over on my um, website. You can get the replay if you didn't manage to book in beforehand.